about? Because it, was, it wasn't long ago that your son Oliver was diagnosed with MS. Yes, when he was diagnosed in June, uh, after the in initial devastation of the diagnosis, I thought I need to do something better than sit here and be angry and be crying. So I wanted to do a big fundraiser for the MS Society. Uh, research is where it's at right now with all these young people that are being diagnosed. And um, so with my photographer friend, Denise Sarazin from Milagro Photography, we got together. She did photos pro bono. I put a call out to yoga teachers in Ottawa on the Yoga Facebook uh, teacher network and got lots of people that were willing to pose. And we went around all summer taking shots around Ottawa. And uh, this, uh, this is our baby. Uh, it's a beautiful calendar. The pictures are really quite stunning. The, the, the poses in themselves, you know, you're kind of trying to figure out exactly how, how that happened. Did you feel that you were embraced by the yoga community? I mean, I know for you it's a, a big part of your life as well. Absolutely. Embraced by the yoga community. And yoga is such an important part of, of, um, of rehabilitation. And, uh, of, I mean, it's good for everybody, but also somebody going through, like myself, going through this anxiety and, and the uncertainty. It's helped me uh, a lot. Very beneficial for people suffering from MS and other, other disabilities. Um, very therapeutic, so it's a good. It was a good fit. It was uh, mm. important for you to have that, you know, to feel like you were being embraced. But the people that helped you the most were the MS Society, because there were so many questions, so many things that you needed answers, and that's something that you're dealing with on a daily basis of, of having people who are saying, "Listen, this, this is what's coming about in our lives," and and you guys are there to help. That's why we're there, absolutely. And the the funds that um, individuals like Natalie raise through these types of initiatives. Um, as well as the other fundraising events that we host throughout the year, go towards um, the research that Natalie mentioned, which is half of our mission, which is to find the cause and cure for MS. And the other half is to provide programs and services so that we can enhance the quality of life of individuals that are living day to day and their families with this disease. So everything from recreation to support groups to financial assistance to loading equipment uh, and information. To where to go because for you even as a registered nurse there were questions there were you know waiting lists to get on like this these were something as a parent you switch gears and it's mm -hmm. like my child needs in now and you had to learn about that I did because as a nurse I work mostly in ER I see patients that come in that are more have more disabilities and need treatment whereas I didn't realize there were all these healthy young people living fulfilling lives with MS and because it touches people in the prime of their life, I think it's important that we raise awareness about MS. There was a lot I didn't know. I didn't know three people a day in Canada got diagnosed with MS. And I didn't know they were between 15 and 40 years old, which is young. It's very young. Oliver right now, 23. Yes. Is that, is that right? Yes. Uh, so, I mean, and, and right now on a good track, but there was a lot of work that had to be done from yeah. that first initial eye issue that, that there was. Exactly. Exactly. His doctor in Montreal told me, Dr. Marc Girard, uh, world-renowned MS specialist told me that now is a good time to be diagnosed with MS because there are so many therapies right on the doorstep. So that's why research dollars are so important. You're hoping so. to raise $10,000. We have a big goal uh, with this. The calendar uh, is out and uh, beautiful, great shots, a lot of uh, support. I want, I'm going to let you really, really quickly uh, say <laughs> where that you, can, that you can find them because this is uh, the big tally is that number of the 10000 that you want to get to. Safe, secure website that I believe is on the television screen right now. Maitreya Yoga Studio Manatik, Bodhi Tree Yoga Kempville, Blue Bamboo Yoga in Stittsville and uh, Canada, Rama Lotus Yoga, Pure Yoga in Westboro, Kalyana Yoga Shala on Saint Laurent Boulevard. And a special thank you to Todd Labictoire, the yogi, Denise Serizet, photographer, Elise Savigny, my dear 